Did you know that Lyle is constantly making new tools and dropping them and therefore everything? Well, guess what? I'm gonna show you their new tools right now. That's the Volto Tone here, guys, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about Lyle. If you're not familiar with Lyle, well, you should be, because Lyle makes some awesome tools, and they're pretty much made in the USA. So let's get started. I'm going to go over the new tools that Lyle has to offer and give you my thoughts and opinions on them. Let's get started. All right. So tool number one is this 61860 torque adapter, and it's torqued to 25 Newton meters. Now, I saw a video where Autobahn Dan used this. Uh, he had a car. It was a BMW, I believe. And the uh, somebody had put the oil cap, the oil filter cap on too tight and cracked it. It was leaking. So he used this to torque it on. I don't work on BMW, so not real sure what the torque is, but... He did it on a BMW, I'm pretty sure, and so I'm guessing it's around 25 Newton meters, and that's probably why it is uh, a new tool. So they're out of stock here at Lyle, but it looks like you can pick one up for about 54 bucks. So not too bad, not too shabby. The next one is this 44880 lift support clamp with magnet. Now, I really wish I had waited to buy, you know, I, I hemmed and hawed about buying a support clamp, about why, buying one of these for a very long time. And I finally bought one. I was super happy. I bought the Lyle one. The only thing that I have a hard time with is if the hood is really heavy, you're trying to hold it up with one hand, you're trying to bring the clamp on there, hold it on the hood strut and tighten it down. It's a pain. Or you got the hood resting on your head, and uh, now they have a magnetic one. So you could just throw it up there, one-handed, you know, wing that thing on. And, I mean, the, the other thing about Lyle is their prices aren't outrageous. Look at that. 22 bucks right there uh, for uh, one of these. So I may have to pick one up because sometimes I've got my hood clamp on one car, and I need to go use it on a different car. So... I may have to pick one up, but, and it's nice too. It comes with a, it has this really long, uh, fluorescent green strap. So you don't miss it. I mean, cause it's, I mean, I can tell you right now, I used vice grips for the longest time. And so many times I'd have a hood open for a while and I would forget, I would go to close the hood and go, Oh crap. And then have the vice grips on there. So definitely a, uh, a big benefit. So the next up is, now this is going to be a game changer right here. These things are, so this is the 12030 flare nut socket set. So let's get a picture of what this looks like. This is set, it's a 10 through 19, and they're line wrench. So basically, what you got is, you got like a flare nut, right? So you have like a, a, a line, a line socket, you know, you have a flare nut that you have to use a flare nut wrench on to break loose. What this is, is this is a socket attached and, it, and it's made up here and it's got the drive up here. So you can use a ratchet instead of a wrench. So they've got, it's a 10 through 19. Uh, let's see if I can close this out without, um, Hang on. Oh, there we go. All right. So it's a 10 through 19 set, and it is uh, 236.45. So not too shabby. They're out of stock right now because they're selling the crap out of them. Uh, so this, they're saying it's it's for difficult wired temp sensors, thermo switches, things like that. So you're going to have 10 through 19 with no skips, and it comes in a foam tray. So, definitely a good one. Now, this one here is going to be for anyone who works on anything with a high fuel rail, with a high fuel, uh, fuel, the bed, the, with high fuel pressure. So, when you're dealing with a, a, uh, 
a diesel, or if you're dealing with a high pressure injection pump on a gas engine, GDI, uh, that's what this is going to be for. So these are line wrench sockets. Uh, they're just like the other ones, except for these are a uh, black oxide finish. And they are, it looks like we got a 19, uh, let's see, 19, 17, 21, 22, and 24 millimeter. So the 19 is going to be for the for the diesels. So they're saying it's a 3 h drive with a black black oxide finish. 17 millimeter socket works on Audi A1, A3, A4, A6, A8, and the Passats, and BMW, N54, N63, and S63. And it also works on the Power Strokes, which are 19s. And also Cummins ISB engines, and the 21 works on Packard, and the 22 is for the newest ISX Cummins. So this is going to be good for, for diesel guys and gas guys. I mean, look, you got the Volkswagen Passats, the BMWs, uh, so definitely a, a set worth having. Uh, let's see, what is this one? This one goes for $159.45. And that is one two zero nine zero. Definitely a good set to have. Now I talked about this once before, but I'm going over new tools. So this is an injector rail fuel line cap set. All right, let me explain why it's important. So a diesel has uh, a diesel, and I mean I believe a GDI would be the same, the same, uh, the same concept. So you've got this high pressure pump and it's going to pump fuel, right? But you've got a fuel rail that's about this big and it says, you know, three quarters of the length of the engine, maybe less, right? So you've got this rail, it's holding fuel, not a lot. And you've got metal tubes going to the injectors. It's firing the injectors, the pump's building pressure. Well, so what it is, is these systems are high fuel pressure, low fuel volume. So what that means is that it's pushing really fast, but there's just not a lot of it. So if you have something that takes too much, then it's gone. So for example, I had a 5.9 Cummins a long time ago, and my service advisor got me, I don't remember, like Craig and fuel injectors for it or something. I can't remember. Anyways, one day the truck was a no start. And I went around the world to figure this out. I ended up having to get some of these um, before Lyle had them uh, and to figure this out. So basically, the problem is that the fuel rail pressure sensor doesn't even read fast enough. So like you turn the key on and the fuel's there, it's gone. So the sensor never even reads properly. So you got to use a multimeter on the fuel rail pressure sensor, turn the key on, and you'll see that it doesn't build any pressure. So then what you do is you disconnect one of the high pressure fuel lines from the rail and you put it on, you put the cap on, you put this on and you tighten it down. It's got the little ball, it's got tightened down. So basically it seals the fuel rail. So you turn the key on and you have no fuel rail pressure. So then on my, in my case, I disconnected number six, put the cap on there. Same thing. Disconnected number five, same thing. Disconnected number four, boom, now I have pressure. So then I put number five and six back on the engine, left four disconnected. As long as four was capped off at the rail, I had fuel rail pressure. So I knew that number four had a bad injector and it was dumping all the fuel. So that's good to know if you work on anything with high pressure fuel because they can all do it. So that's why this is so important right here. Now you wonder why there's only five. Well, because you're not going to cap off all six little ports. You're only going to cap off five out of six. So, and I would imagine this is mostly for, uh, they're not really saying, I would imagine, oh, it looks like it works for, oh, I see. Oh, so their number one works for six fours. Their number two works for... Ford, Cummins, Duramax, and Dirty Max. So it looks like the LBZ and then 17 to 22. And then the number three works for the 6.7 Cummins. 
the four works for a dirty max and the five works for a Cummins and a dirty max okay so this is a good set to have you got looks like you got one that covers most of it i was wondering because number five looked bigger than four uh so that's a good set to have the only problem is in this case you would have to disconnect the line cap it turn the key on no pressure put the line back on disconnect it the next one and recheck it and then when you get to like the third one you've got all the lines on except for number number four or whatever and now you got pressure so now you know that's the bad one so that's that's why it would work that way you just have to put the line on every time so definitely a good set to have 115 45 now this is brand new and i cannot wait to get this these are aluminum spring disconnects now if you i bought a set a long time ago from matco uh a set of a fuel line disconnect you know whatever uh and you know it's it's a lyle set but it says matco on it uh we all know matco doesn't make it um but this is actually really cool because these are aluminum and if you've ever tried to use the plastic ones they work they work good i mean whatever but there's times where the plastic just can't lift the spring up because the spring is old, crusty, whatever. And so then it doesn't disconnect. So this set right here is aluminum, and you're not going to have that issue with the aluminum. So, and this set is $197.95. It is $39480. So, and then if you were wondering, here's all the stuff it connects. The three-quarter GM uh, heater hose, obviously, that's a big one. Uh, you got the Ford Trans cooler lines. Those are a big one. Subaru fuel line disconnect. Uh, the other fuel sets don't even have that. Toyota Nissan spring disconnect. They don't. Other sets don't have that either. So let's say you got some new stuff in here. Range Rover Explorer. You got the Dodge oil cooler spring disconnect. So you got some different different sets in here. Uh, definitely a, a good set to have. It's aluminum, can't go wrong, and it's Lyle. And that's number 39480. Uh, and that one was uh, 198. Now the next set, now these are, are, aren't are new new, but they're fairly new, and I have these, and they're awesome. Uh, anytime I'm doing a big job where I'm disconnecting a lot of connectors and things like that, I've got these pliers out. So what these pliers do is, let's see if we can get a good, so that's a good picture right there. So basically what it does is, if you've ever had that time where you're trying to depress the connector and you're pushing the tab down and, and, and the release, it almost lifts up, but just not quite enough. And your fingers just, they can't get it. Well, what this does is the big part grabs the back of the connector and the hook here, hits the disconnect the, the latch and it depresses it and you've got the power of plier so you're giving it a lot of oomph and then you just give it a little bit of a wiggle pulls right off i have not had one set of, of uh, one connector not come off with these pliers so and these are the 37960 electrical disconnect pliers Definitely a tool that you will use quite often if you get one. And they are $34.05. They're out of stock right now. But a lot of times you can find this stuff on Amazon too. You can look for Lyle on Amazon. I know I've ordered a few things. Uh, one thing coming up I want to talk about that I ordered from Amazon. But anyways, now here is a, a new set right here. This is the 13050 flip socket set. Four pieces. Now this has got the uh, so this has got a 22 and 20 and 22 and 22 and a half, a 21 and 21 and a half, and an 18 and a half and a 19 and a half. So pretty much cover most of what you need right there. So this is going to be a good set to have. Um, you're going to want this. I'm telling you, uh, all these two piece lug nuts. And I mean, honestly, we had a Ford one time. I don't remember what kind of Ford it was. But it had a regular lug nut. It was not a two-piece lug nut that came apart, and it was a half size. I'm not sure what it was or why, but it was a half size, and it was not a two-piece lug nut that came apart. So 
I don't know. But anyways, this set is 7145, and that's a 13050. And then you're also getting the, 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 the flip punch right here to punch the lug nuts out if they get stuck. The next set. Now, this one kind of bums me out because I literally bought the, the deaf disconnect. And I mean, almost right away, uh, my friend Turbo Tai Tai, he, Tyler, he posted a, a, a video of this whole set with the fuel line and the deaf line. And I didn't see that. They only had the deaf set that I, that I, when I bought them. Otherwise, I would have bought the whole set, all six. So this is deaf disconnect and fuel line disconnect six of them so this is for those hard to reach places those deaf lines on those deaf pumps and things like that man they are a pain in the butt and you're trying to get the connectors disconnected and they don't want to let go because the deaf fluid crystallizes and everything's covered in mud and dirt and just nasty and uh, so this would make it a lot easier. Spray a little bit of penetrating oil up there, slide this in, line would come right off. So this is forty-three ninety-five, and this is the three eight four one zero. Uh, and this is a, oh, so this just tells you the the three they got three def and three fuel and disconnects. No, this is six def disconnects. I thought this was the def and fuel line. Oh, it is. Okay, right here. It says coolant line, fuel line. Okay, this is for fuel and cool and def. Okay, or even coolant. So, $43.95. Now, this is interesting because a lot of people are coming out with the, the, the curved pocket, you know, pocket pry bars, and I'm not sure who came out with it first, you know, whatever. But I know that Lyle is the first one that I've seen that it actually looks like a pry bar. It's got a striking cap on there, so you could actually hit it like a pry bar, uh, which is kind of interesting because today I was tr doing an intake on a 3.1 GM, and you have the oil pump drive on the driver's side of the engine uh, right, right, right next to the intake. Uh, right next to yeah to the where the intake goes and the transmission you have the oil pump drive and we were trying to get it out and it was stuck it was really stuck and my service advisor I gave him a little pocket screwdriver and he stuck it in there and he asked me if I if I liked it because it was going to probably break um, so this would have been perfect if I had one of these because well he wouldn't even ask me if it was going to break if I had this one uh, we were able to get it but it was a pain in the butt so this is nine eighty five. I mean, you can't beat the prices either. I mean, the prices from Lyle are just awesome. And that's a 35100. And that's a quarter inch pry bar. Looks like we got three left. All right. So if you work on Fords like me um, and you don't have the aluminum disconnect set from Lyle, you're going to want this. This is the 39100 Ford oil cooler spring disconnect set. So this is for those transmission lines, the, the transmission cooler lines where they connect to the radiator. They are a bugger. And if you have any of the old sets, they're plastic. And I think it's uh, like a burgundy color is the one that is the one for forts. And <clears throat> man, I'll tell you what, you get it all in there and you twist it, you push it, you twist it, you get pliers and and it just doesn't want to give because these things get stuck and the plastic just doesn't doesn't force its way like metal and these are aluminum i have these right here you know i like to work on the power strokes and well they have those same type of cooler cooler lines and they're not fun to disconnect without these and this is said it's got a half inch and three eight set so it's for the big ones and small ones uh and that's just 32.95 for 39100. Two piece set. All right. Two left. All right. So this one is the low profile fuel line disconnect set for Fords. It's a 5 16 and 3 8. This is 1095. And this is the 39120. So as you can see here, you're disconnecting a fuel line from a high pressure fuel pump. And you can't quite get in there with any of the other uh, fuel line disconnects because they're just too big. 
So that's where this is going to come into handy. It's going to come in handy, not come into handy. Um, so you can't go wrong there. There's what it looks like right there. I like the high visibility blue. It's pretty nice. And the last tool is, all right. So if you work on anything of newer vehicles, you obviously have worked on some GDI vehicles. And as you know, or if you didn't know, GDI vehicles are not something where, you know, you take an old fuel injector and you grab it, you take the O-ring, you take a pocket pry bar, a pick, whatever, and you reach under the O-ring and you flip it up and you knock it off and you get a new one and you put it on and you lube it up and you just push it in the hole. Well, GDI doesn't work that way. So GDI, what you have to do is you have to, first of all, now this is a high fuel pressure system. So you're dealing with you know, 500 pounds, 1,000 pounds of fuel pressure, right? So if, if, if you don't get it right, then you're going to have a big fat leak. So what this does is you have several parts to this. One of them is going to, uh, it's going to get the injector started. So you have these cones. So you're going to take, I don't understand why it's loading so slow. That's crazy. So you've got the end of your injector and you've got the o-ring that's got to go over the end of it so what you do is you take these cone the cone right here and you slide it on your injector and then you can lube up your o-ring you roll your o-rings up now you're going to have more than one o-ring on gdi you're going to have multiple seals so what you got to do is you got to roll the o-ring up the injector and put it on but then that's not the other that's not the only part of it the next thing you got to do is now that o-ring has been stretched out and when you put it on the injector it's not going to be the right size like a regular gasoline you know fuel injector just goes right in it's not a big deal so what you got to do is you got to take a, a tool and you got to size it so it pushes the o-ring back down to its normal size so that way, when you put it in the car, it fits and everything is copacetic and there's no problems. So that's what this set is designed for. Now, this works with, I would imagine, most, most high-pressure fuel uh, injectors. Uh, this is for Teflon seals on Hitachi, Bosch, Continental, and Delphi. Single and double-sealed injectors found on many Ford, GM, and Subaru. So Bosch makes a lot of fuel injectors. Um, so they make most of them, I would say. So this covers, this shows you all the engines it covers. Um, so you're definitely going to need something like this. You, you, we can't wing it like we used to back in the day where you could just even take the injectors and not replace the O-rings and lube them up because the advisor said they can't get them or they can't afford it or the car has to leave right now. Um, and you just got to lube them up and throw them in. Well, usually you are fine, but not in GDI. So you don't mess around with that. You don't take those chances with GDI systems. So that is the last new tool from Lyle. So thanks for watching the video. Drop a comment down below and let me know what your favorite new tool from Lyle is and what's on your Christmas list. I guess early Christmas list, summer present. I don't know what you would call it. But anyways, uh, Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit subscribe button, and hit the bell. You get notified of all my future content, which you definitely don't want to miss. I'll see you guys next time.